All right, today we're going to be showing you what Business Objects BI 4.0 looks like. Uh, here I've logged into the BI Launchpad. As you can see, the URL is your company's URL for AD80 slash BOE slash BI. Make sure that's all capital letters. And this is the first view that you get. Over here on the right, you got your applications. As you can see, Bex Web Applications, Module. Analysis Edition for OLAP, <coughs> Crystal Reports, BI Workspace, Web Intelligence, and if your basis person has installed the Explorer add-on, you get Explorer down here on the bottom. You also got a place for your inbox, your alerts, your recently run documents, and your recently viewed documents. Now if you want, you can launch Analysis Edition for OLAP, which is the premium version of Bex Analyzer. And it will open up and ask you to open up a data source. And now you have several different options. And here I, I've created universes based on a several info cubes in, in a BW system and a BW OLAP connection. Now with the BW OLAP connection, I can create a pipeline into an underlying SAP BW 7.3 system and give access to all info cubes and queries within that system utilizing the BW as the information data source and BW. aggregation BW. system. Now we just click next and we, and we get a browser that shows us all the info areas in our BW system. I'm going to show you real quickly product lifecycle management which opens up the next set of info areas. We're going to go to project systems and we get a list of our info cubes and info sets or any other info providers that are in that info area and if I open up the info cube or info provider you'll get a list of the queries available under that info cube now if there are any views that belong to a query you'll also be able to open up the open up the query such as with WBS element cost and variances see the plus sign there opens it up and we get a list of the views of that query. Now I can also just select the query, uh, the info cube itself and build a query from scratch. Now the one caveat to this is that for, in order for an info provider to become available in this browser, the, the info provider info cube needs to have at least one query available for the system to see it. After that, you don't need to use the query. You can create them from scratch directly on the info cube, or you can use the selected queries. Now, these are all business content queries available in the BW system. I mean, I haven't had to develop anything in order to get Business Objects 4.0 to give me some reports. I can click OK, Processes, and then I get the same variable screen that I would get in Bex Analyzer. I'll select the plan version. This is one of my required variables, and then I click OK, and here's my report. Now I've got an area here for columns, rows, and background filters. Over on the left here, I've got my dimensions and my info objects. I can take a hierarchy and drag it over to, to rows and drill down by project in WBS hierarchy. And yes, this will now display hierarchies as a typical hierarchy. Just click the plus sign, and it drills down by hierarchy. I can add more connections and add more more queries from other areas in the system, just like in any other workbook. We can also add graphs. You get a sub analysis area. We can add a graph here. You can see that automatically has tried to give a best fit. We're getting different projects in a, in a nice little pie graph here. I can also create calculations on the fly. So the end user doesn't need to ask the IT department to create a revenue minus cost calculation. We just come in here, select where to put the calculation after, and we're good to go. Just add the members. I'm running out of time, so that's all. I'm